going to teach you about pressure, gravity, and siphoning using our own tasty version of a manometer. Using this 50 foot straw and a couple of gallons of fruit punch. The first thing we're going to do is to see how high we can suck the juice. So what do you guys think? Do you think Superman could suck water out of a 50 foot well with a straw? actually could not do it. The highest Superman could suck water out of a well is 33.9 feet if he was at one atmosphere, about sea level. There is a way that he could get water out of the straw. You know how? So now we're going to see how high we can suck juice in a straw. We have it going up our fort and all the way over the pole. And at the very top, it's 18 feet. You think you can get it all the way over the top? Yeah. I don't know. It's going to be hard. I can do it. See, look. We have our measuring tape starting right at the level of the juice. And we'll follow the juice up to see how high we can go. All right, Austin. Start drinking the juice. Right. See how high you can go. That's one foot. Oh, keep going. Two feet. Keep going more and more. Can you go more? Don't let go. Ready, go. One foot, two feet, three feet, four feet, five feet, Five for sucking hard? Thanks. Me. <laughs> okay. Austin awesome. sucked in two feet. You 12 feet. I need to see. Do you think it would matter if we had a different size straw? This straw is one quarter inch dia diameter. But what if we had a smaller straw or a bigger straw? Do you think it would matter? Did you see how the juice just fell down the straw so fast as soon as we stopped sucking? What do you think will happen if we try to suck the juice down the straw? Let's see what happens. Now we put the juice high up on top of the ladder. It's about nine feet off of the ground. What do you think will happen if we can suck the juice up over the pole? There it goes. I see the juice coming down now. Thank <laughs> you. 
cleaning the tube out, Austin. Is it scrumptious? Ha, ha, ha. 